new shocking report from the new Pentagon report claims that UFOs left radiation burns and unaccounted for pregnancies. 1,500 pages of UFO-related research were just declassified. This is today's report on life science. They were just declassified as part of a FOIA request. Encounters with UFOs have reportedly left Americans suffering from radiation burns, brain and nervous system damage, and even unaccounted for pregnancy. According to a massive database of U.S. government reports recently made public through a Freedom of Information Act FOIA request. The database of documents includes more than 1,500 pages of UFO-related material from the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, ATIP, a secretive U.S. Department of Defense program that ran from 2007 to 2012, despite never being classified as secret or top secret, the ATIP only became known to the public in 2017 when former program director Luis Elizondo resigned from the Pentagon and released several now infamous videos of an unidentified aircraft moving in seemingly impossible ways to the media. Shortly after the ATIP's existence was revealed, the U.S. outpost of the British tabloid The Sun filed a FOIA request for any and all documents related to the program. Four years later, on April 5th, 2022, just uh, a few days ago, well, today that is, the U.S. Department, the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency, DIA, honored the request by releasing 1,574 pages of the material to the Sun. Now, according to the Sun, the cache of documents included reports on the biological effects of UFO sightings on humans, studies on advanced technologies such as invisible invisibility cloaks, and plans for deep space exploration and colonization. Some portions of the documents were withheld in part for privacy and confidentiality concerning ATIP, I told the Sun. Now, one standout document from the collection is a report titled Anomalous Acute and Subacute Field Effects on Human and Biological Tissues, dated March 2010. The report describes alleged injuries to human observers by anomalous advanced aerospace systems, some of which may be a threat to the United States' interests, according to the document. The report describes 42 cases from medical files and 300 unpublished cases where humans sustained injuries after alleged encounters with anomalous vehicles, which includes UFOs. In some cases, humans showed burn, burn injuries or other conditions related to electromagnetic radiation, the report said, some of them appearing to have been inflicted by energy-related propulsion systems. The report also noted cases of brain damage, nerve damage, heart palpitations, and headaches related to anomalous vehicle encounters. It's unclear what kind of vetting process, if any, the ATIP used to investigate these alleged cases. The Sun has yet to share the full contents of the requested reports. As we said, it was just, they were just received today. The report also includes a list of alleged biological effects of UFO sightings on human observers between 1837 and 1994, that's over 120 years, compiled by Mutual UFO Network MUFON, a civilian nonprofit group that studies reported UFO sightings. The reported effects of UFO encounters include unaccounted for pregnancy, apparent abduction, paralysis, and experiences of perceived telepathy, teleportation, and levitation. The report concludes that there is sufficient evidence to support a hypothesis of some advanced systems already deployed and opaque to full U.S. understandings. And for more details, you can check out the Sun's initial report on the FOIA request. And this was by Brian Spector on Live Science. This is amazing, especially the unaccounted for pregnancies. Where did they come from? And what's the, uh, the result of the creation, the product of those? Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account.
The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.